Monday, Crash of the Titans. Hopefully, you set your clocks forward an hour. If you didn't, well, we're, we're time travelers. Speaking of time travels, or time travelers, we have the time displaced Thanos of Endgame here, black, blue, and green user. We're going to actually go into his powers real quick because I I remember the powers I just don't feel like trying to remember them verbatim the vicious determination is his black ability which costs nine uh, it deals damage to the target and then additional damage to all enemy heroes okay inescapable destiny is his blue passive if there are at least four more strike attacker projectiles on the board that belong to the enemy team convert one of them well remove one of them and then convert uh, three basic tiles to green and then finally mad titans mercy is his green ability to which costs 12 and you destroy 32 random tiles dealing damage uh, for each special tile that happened to be destroyed by this power up to whatever the max might be of additional damage and then destroy tiles don't generate AP you know as per usual as far as its affiliations go I mentioned the time displaced villains obviously and non-humans for all of those that care Now we got old Moon Dragon, one of the one of the newer characters in Marvel Puzzle Quest. Uh, she is a purple, red, and yellow user. Uh, she has two of the three colors, like her daddy Drax. So that that's a thing. Her midnight dispersal yellow ability costs five. So, it divides each enemy strike attack or projectile in half, creating a new tile of that type. If none exists, then we create uh, enemy <clears throat> five enemy projectiles on the board instead. And then passively at the start of each turn, uh, random, randomly convert any enemy strike attack or projectile in excess of five tiles to basic tiles, giving her team a burst of health and then dealing damage for each tile converted. Fear Defense is a purple passive and active ability uh, for seven. So you create a four turn countdown tile and while this turn, uh, while this tile is on the board, enemy strike attack or protect tiles are reduced. And then whenever the tile is, is eh, it expires or is destroyed, then Moon Dragon deals damage and then she fires off her yellow ability. And then the Moon Dragon is to take damage. A random ally takes the damage instead. If a fear, fear defense uh, countdown tile exists, then the damage is increased by 50%. And then finally, Titanium Martial Arts is a red ability, which it's also too active and passive. For five red, you destroy the bottom row of tiles and destroy tiles, don't deal damage or generate AP. And then passively, um, Moon Dragon takes reduced match damage and deals the amount of damage back to the enemy, plus the listed percentage for each enemy strike attack or projectile on board. And then her match damage is increased for each strike attack or projectile that's on the board. Her affiliations for those that care, heroes, supernatural, cosmic, enhanced, and guardians of the galaxy. Now, there's a couple ways that you can go about this here. One, have uh, any support that uses or that creates any strike, attack, or projectiles like that. That would help out a whole lot. That'll be number one. Uh, number two, 
you know you don't want to have too many of them on the board because then Thanos will turn all those there to green and since we don't really have a green outlet and he does that's going to sting a whole lot we also want to make sure that Thanos doesn't get enough black because his black that will kind of hurt us a lot and so those those are pretty much the the strategies that I can think of. Just make sure that we have that we fire off yellow as much as we can, and we fire off uh, purple as much as we can, and you know do what we can do with red. So we'll let my matches do the talking from this point forward. Yeah, Thanos is black. That, like I said, is gonna do a hefty a lot of a hefty amount of damage to us, as we saw. And one of the teams, though, that I I've, I've seen with Moon Dragon involves her and one of the immortal character. Well, two of the immortal characters, Immortal Hulk and. Oh my goodness, why couldn't I think of Chasm? If not him, then She-Hulk, well, Immortal Hulk would, and Chasm would would work better because, you know, hey, they take the random damage and whatnot, and, you know, hey, they'll, they'll infinitely revop for the most part. Well, in Chasm's case, uh, once you 
get past a certain threshold of him creating web tiles or I should say the abyss tiles and all that good stuff there but that's a team that you can tinker with and speaker yeah speaking of tinkering our next crash is going to be a double crash and this one here is going to be with Colleen Wing so this should be pretty fun uh I think hers was against I yeah was against Iron Fist I don't remember but but we'll figure it out uh by the time that crash there comes around um be excellent to your fellow human beings and I'll catch y'all next week so this is a very short video until next Monday peace